for your family's comfort. Brought to you by Green Plumbing and Modern Heating. Hi, and welcome to For Your Family's Comfort, brought to you by Greens Plumbing and Modern Heating. You know, Rick, there's some things that you don't really think about until you run out of it. Right, and that's hot water. Uh, and one of them's toilet paper. Well, that's right. Well, we're not <laughs> going to talk about toilet paper today. No, we're going to talk, we'll about, talk about, hot about hot water. water. That's right. Yep. Today we're going to talk about how an electric water heater works. That's right. And this is a standard 50-gallon water heater. Uh, excuse me, a standard 50 gallon electric water heater that we sell out here at Greens Plumbing. And um, one thing that you, everybody needs to be aware of is that the, the federal government has given us some energy updates and some goals uh, and some requirements we have to comply with. And one of those is to have a better insulated water heater. This particular one, like all the Reliance water heaters that we sell, has, a, has three inches of foam all the way around the, the circumference and on top and bottom. So new water heaters are probably going to be bigger than your old one. Yeah, so, so if you have it's to kind have of a tough replaced, yeah. job to get them stuck in. In the same spot. That's yep. Right. Yep. So when you talk about um, people will call and they'll say, oh, there's hot water running out of my water heater on the floor. And that's generally coming from here, right? Yeah, this is a this is a pressure and temperature relief valve. And what this is, if if uh, the elements overheat and that creates too much hot water and then or is it the too much pressure. Thermostats overheat. Well, whatever. Both? It's probably okay. a thermostat problem. Yeah. That's right. But then this will open up and let that that uh, extra pressure be relieved here rather than blowing off a pipe or something. And, the, and it could be a problem with the components, but it also could be a problem with that. If it's a problem with this, it's probably a slow drip, but if it's a really a gusher, it's probably okay. a thermostat problem. Okay. That's right. And then speaking yep. of uh, the elements, um, yep. those okay. are located. Yeah, there's an upper and a lower element, mm -hmm. and there's also an upper and a lower thermostat. Yeah. And so we'll take the cover off here yeah. of the upper one. And you can see everything is really well insulated here. So we can just open up these flaps here and expose what we've got. And of course there's wires here because this is an electric water heater. And on the upper thermostat there's a reset button. So if you, the first thing to know is if you don't have any hot water, just take this cover off, press the reset button, that is. and give it a while and maybe that'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. And then this thermostat up here um, decides whether it's going to send power to the upper element or down to the lower element. And this is probably what your element looks that's like what inside. The, that's what a basic yeah. element looks like, right. And the, all these water heaters are high recovery, meaning if, if you start with a cold tank, it's going to uh, energize just the top element so it takes less time to heat this much water. And then as soon as this much is warmed, then it's going to send the power down to the bottom mm -hmm. element to heat the rest of the, uh, the, the tank. Full yeah, of water. and then your, the, the lower thermostats down here and another element. And That's right. sometimes when people call and they say, I have hot water, but I run out quickly. Yeah. So that's if there's a problem, a problem, typically the bottom element is the one that, that goes out first because that's the one after the tank gets warmed up, that's the one that gets okay. used the most. So if that one goes out, then you don't have this much of your capacity isn't hot anymore, just the top. So you can take a shower and run out right away. So the new water heaters are um, quite efficient, right? That's right. They have an energy factor of 0.95. Okay, and 0.95 energy factor means? Well, energy what? the energy factor just in a nutshell means the amount of water, of hot water that the water heater can produce compared to how much fuel it uses in a typical day. And that's so going to be kind of an ambiguous, yeah. but it's a number that you can use to yeah. compare. Because it's kind of going to depend on your utility company and how much water you use on a daily basis, yeah, right? A lot of variables, that's right. Um, these water heaters have really nice warranties. Right. Our basic one has a six-year uh, parts and tank warranty. You can upgrade to a nine-year or a 12-year warranty. So. <laughs> we're gonna, next time we're going to talk, on our next show, we're going to talk about gas water heaters. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or problems with your hot water heater or hot water in general, give us a call at Greens Plumbing and Modern Heating at 847-7459. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.